Here we go. Another day from the Death of Apocalypse Dogs, the God's Entertainment with a quick word of reflection and a quick word of inspiration. I had a thought this morning. Find your place. Run your race in the establishment of a lost kingdom. You know, I used to run a half mile and I used to run cross country in high school. And um, I was just thinking about Mr. Combs. May I be pleased. Um, our band manager back in the day who took us under his wing to teach us some discipline in that vein as well. But he was one of the um, cross country coaches. And he was the um, first person who taught me how to breathe. Um, while running and he said that you keep your mouth closed and breathe deep through your nose you know you get more oxygen and that's also how you can uh, catch your breath when you start getting windy you know what I mean deep breaths through, through the nose you know what I'm saying and um, and so that worked out for me over time because you know I used to run a lot uh, I remember the days I could get up about five miles like it ain't nothing. <laughs> I got to get back to that. But anyway, also, and in the half mile, man, in the half mile, you you don't get uh, assigned a lane. So everybody at the starting block is bunched up. You know what I mean? And Mark said, go, pow, once they shoot the gun. Man, you have to. You have to find your place. Man, a lot of people, a lot of people lose on that first curve. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, you know, it's a fight. Everybody is fighting for their position. Everybody is running to place themselves where they would like to be so they can pace themselves, you know, to run their race. You know what I mean? And so that first curve is dangerous right and then you know you pace yourself but the key the key the key is pace yourself right and so just in life's journey you know what I mean that's a good lesson for life's journey too to pace yourself you know what I mean because if you jump out there and you see somebody or somebody run past you you know what I mean and then you get caught in your feelings and you start running faster so you can pass them and you know what I mean you end up gassing out before the race is over you know what I mean so I, I remember <laughs> I was just telling somebody about uh, a cross country race it's like two and a half miles on our home field so I knew our home field so and so and I knew and we practiced on that route you know frequently so that we could get an idea of how to run our own particular race based on the way we train and the way we run, right? And I these two two guys from Oxen Hill, <laughs> they was on my it was on my shoulder. I heard them talking to each other, and one of them said, "Go, go!" And so they ran past me. I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." And first and second was gone, man. They first and second place, they were gone. You know what I mean? So between us. The three of us, it was a matter of third place. Right? So they got me. They ran in front of me. You know what I mean? I said, like, okay, okay, okay. And so I decided when I was going to make my move. And so I ran right past them and then paced myself in front of them. I ran right past them, paced myself in front of them. Then I hear them back uh, behind me again and say, go, go. So they did it again. They ran past me. So anyway, I knew where we were in uh in the route so and i knew where my place was where i could just go and keep going right and i got to that place i said man okay i'm gonna get them this time <laughs> they think i'm gonna run in front of them and just face myself again but i'm gone so i said boom go boy <laughs> I didn't hear any signs of them anymore <laughs> because you know they were they weren't running their race right but we knew how to run our race so in life man, pace yourself okay, pace yourself and most importantly 
get to the finish line. The race is not to the swift or the strong, you know what I mean? But it's to the one who endures to the end. Enjoy your day. Peace. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.